Welcome back to Business Rockstars. Now we'll head over to the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center in San Francisco with Tui Vu. Hey there, welcome to Scale the Wall, powered by NASDAQ Private Market. Stay private on your own terms. For more information, go to npm.com. Our guest today is Tony Shu, co-founder and CEO of DoorDash. It's an on-demand food delivery service. You can order food from nearby restaurants through its website or its mobile app. And then so-called dashers bring the food right out to you. Tony, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. So DoorDash has uh, been around for four years. How many cities are you in now? We're now in over 300 cities across U.S. and Canada. Really? Yeah, it's been a fast ride. Yes, it has. I had no idea it's that many. Yeah. Um, the menu of food startups out there, though, it's pretty crowded, right? You've got Sprig, Blue Apron, you've got Munchery. Um, is there really room for all these companies and room for growth, or is it pretty saturated right now? Well, I mean, there's over 575,000 restaurants in the U.S. for a reason. And, and I think that's because people really want choice. And, I, and people, after all, eat 20 times a week, three times a day, <laughs> sometimes more. And, you know, we've seen nothing but growth at DoorDash. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, this, the story of DoorDash really was a tale of, you know, two parts. The first half was really about figuring out whether or not there was a great business here. We did that in the first 18 months and have been, you know, growing really, really fast ever since. So if there was a way to summarize uh, your business idea in one short sentence, how would you say, how would you describe the big idea behind your business? We're building the last mile for commerce. Uh, this is, you know, you know, much bigger than just food. If you think about it, delivery is a concept as old as time. You and I as customers can mm -hmm. probably understand the convenience for it. But if that's true, why is it that 99% of businesses in America not deliver? Why is it that 85% of restaurants not deliver? This you know, need for convenience has never been met yet you know, by the supply side, which really happened you know, with the merchants, whether it's the you know, hundreds of thousands of restaurants or the millions of businesses across the US and, and certainly ac across the globe. So how do you make money? I know you charge a flat delivery fee, uh, 4 to $7 to the consumer, right? And then is there another revenue stream on top of that? Yeah, we make money in two ways. So we charge a delivery fee, and we also receive a commission on the orders from the restaurants. Okay. And is that structure going to pretty much stay in place when you're growing, or, or, or are you thinking of other fee and payment structures? No, that's how our core business works today. Uh, you, you will see us offer new services for merchants, which take on different business models, but our core business for delivery is exactly what we talked about. And where do you get your entrepreneurial spirit from? Are your family members entrepreneurial as well? So my mom has been a small business owner um, her entire life. Oh, really? And so, you know, ever coming to the States, she's owned three different types of businesses, one of which, coincidentally, was a restaurant. Uh -huh. So I have been a dishwasher inside a restaurant before. <laughs> were there deliveries at your mom's restaurant at the time? There were not, <laughs> until now. And, and, and so, uh, uh, no, I, I, I've seen you know, the hard work as well as the independence that my mom yeah. um, has inspired for a long time now. At the same time, I think as a, as a child, I've always had a lot of curiosities of my own. So I owned my you know, own lawn mowing business when I was nine, for example. So I, I, I think, the, you, you know, the, the itch was there from a long time ago, but, but the story of DoorDash started very recently. What do you consider to be your greatest achievement uh, at DoorDash so far? The, the proudest achievement is really in, in recruiting and retaining um, a group of individuals far more talented than myself. Um, in many ways, to me, that's what building a company is about. I think early on as an entrepreneur, it's, about, it's all about building the product. And it's all about testing that initial idea and seeing whether or not it's a product that people want. But once you get past that, building a company is much, much more difficult. It's really about the people that you're able to invite in and the people that you're able to uh, you know, make uh, productive and, and, yeah. and happy and successful every day. And I think that the talent level is what I'm most proud of at DoorDash. And when you look back, uh, describe to us the process that you went through when you were trying to decide what kind of business you wanted to do. It was in many ways uh, an organic process, the founding story of DoorDash. Um, our motivation did not start with food or delivery. It started with wanting to help local businesses. And so it was organic in the sense that my co-founders and I sp spent a lot of time just talking to small businesses about their problems. When would you just go to random would, businesses we, and just say, what's your biggest problem? We would go door to door on <laughs> the street. Yeah, absolutely. Really? In different cities across um, you know, the Bay Area. And even, you know, even the first deliveries, the first six months, my co-founders and I did every single delivery. 
Uh -huh. um, we did that really to understand the problems, right? And b becoming an entrepreneur is about becoming an expert in solving a particular type of problem. And in order to do that, you have to go and do the work. And so for us, uh, after spending that time with the small businesses and doing the deliveries ourselves, we really became experts in the business. That's so interesting. What was the number one thing you learned? The number one thing we learned was that um, you know, for local businesses, um, going beyond their four walls is very hard. Um, you know, small businesses, so much uh, of their ability is gated by where they're located, their real estate, mm -hmm. um, because you know, it's physical and you can't, you can't take that everywhere. But with DoorDash, we can take a local business and introduce them to the entire city and not just you know, the people walking in front of their door. Does it worry you though that, that, some, you know, that a company with vast resources like Amazon though is encroaching on your, sa your space, so to speak? Well, every, small com every big company started small at, at some point, even the companies that you listed. And, and so for us, again, uh, we're not worried at all because it is always about just how well and who best serves the customer. As long as we're doing that, we're going to win. And so to me, um, that's not what I think about. What I instead think about is, are we building the right products um, you know, for the future, and are we building the right team for the future? Great point. And on that, we're going to end. But Tony Hsu uh, with DoorDash, been a pleasure to talk to you. Likewise. That's great being here. Well, join us every Friday as we scale the wall, powered by NASDAQ Private Market. Stay private on your own terms. For more information, go to npm.com. I'm Tui Vu, and this is Business Rockstars.